so we're in the discount tab and uh, we've enabled this and uh, we've chosen discount mode from basic to advanced right so we're in the advanced discount mode at the moment uh, now it's it's very very easy so basically it really simplifies your job uh, now of course you're familiar with the native WooCommerce now in here you have to select the regular price and the sale price right you have to set the sale price over here and you have to visit each and every product to be able to set the regular price and the sale price right so discounting uh, in WooCommerce in native WooCommerce is al already a very tedious process right because it requires you to go and edit each and every product page and then add the regular price and the sale price to it right even if it is a category wide sale you still have to go on and do it for every product right so it's uh, it takes up a lot of time of course so instead in finale what you can now do is that you can simply go on to the uh, advanced discount mode and you can select set the regular price so let's say uh, it's from 10 to 20 dollars and you want to offer a discount of five so from the drop down here i've chosen percentage right you can then add the discount rate so you can say from 20 dollars to 30 dollars give a discount of 10 percent right and then further add it and say for products price between 30 dollars and uh, $40 give a price of 15% right and products that you don't just define which is products 40 onwards and you haven't put on uh, put a discount range for them here well they will be at the same price so there will be no discount on them so you can set discount ranges right like this right now remember this price is the regular price which is the price which is actually picked up from here right this is not the cart total or anything of that sort it is the regular price of the product right and here you can select the percentage or fixed amount and you can keep adding the discount ranges now here you've got again the option of overriding the, this discount if the sale price is set locally again this is what it is talking about here let's say if something is set over here and you want this discount to be overridden only then select uh, only then check this box otherwise uh, well it, this discount will get applied irrespective of what is happening here right so that is that now interesting application of this could be that let's say you want to run a category wide sale right and so what you can do is that you can select the category over here so you can say when the product category is um anything all bikes and ride ons right so you want to uh, you want the sale to run on a certain category so it will be restricted only to that chosen category it would not be applied uh, to any other product right so all products which are priced between 10 and 20 dollars will have a discount of five percent right but you can advertise the highest discount amount and pull people in right so on your on your header on the store or on your uh, social media posts or in your emails you can say well discount on the uh, on the bikes category category uh, up to 15% off right so you can use the biggest number to pull people in and you can set the discount uh, like this so there will be discounts which are also 5% also of 10% so on and so forth right uh, so that's the way to go about it so uh, again you've got lots of options here in the rule builder but you can also say when the stock status is in stock right so it's going to be a, st a store wide sale or a category wide sale but only when only for products which are in stock right or you could say when the stock quantity is greater than 10 right so do not apply this discount unless the stock quantity is greater than 10 i only want to do it on products which are prior which are which have a stock status which is greater than uh, 10 units all right and and when the category is product category is uh, again yeah that one Right, so when the product category is this and the stock quantity is greater than 10, right, that is when I want you to apply this tiered discounting. So it's as simple as it looks. It definitely makes your task much easier because now you do not have to go to individual product pages and edit it and put the discount amount. You can simply do it from one location, which is here.